I think it shot up to $1,900 three years ago, and then it dropped back down to about 12 or 1300 in the last few years. And during the rise, everyone was buying gold. It went up for 10 straight years, and a lot of the reasons were because people were fearing inflation, the stock market was going down, and China and India were buying more gold. And then when gold started going down, two or three years ago, it was about the same time when because of low interest rates after the 2008 financial <coughs> crash, I don't remember some of us were out of work, but they lowered interest rates and then the stock market started rising over the past years. Things appear to get better. And people, some people stopped buying gold because they thought, why do I need to buy gold anymore? Because the economy seems to be getting better. Stocks are going up. There's no reason to buy gold. Yet, for the most part, most things haven't changed. A few of the reasons will generally what most experts will tell you about gold, why it goes up. Everyone knows about inflation. Some people think inflation makes gold go up. So what have we seen now just this year with food prices? Has anyone cooked their own steak or hamburger? It's gone up like 40%. Food price, all types of food prices have gone up, especially this year. And then the other thing is energy. Most economies revolve around energy. The price of oil, I think all of us can probably remember as short as 10 years ago, it was about $30, $40 a barrel. But basically it's been at $100 a barrel for the past few years. And oil just isn't in cars. It's basically in everything, plastic, fertilizer. So that high price of oil feeds into inflation. So that's one of the reasons is inflation. It's still with us, hasn't gone any, anywhere. So some people think gold at 12 or 1300, it's a bargain. And in my other speech also, it was at the beginning of the year, my other speech, when generally the beginning of the year is when the financial analysts talk about this year's predictions. And everyone was predicting the financial analysts at the beginning of this year, stocks are gonna go up, whatever stocks, but they're also saying gold's gonna continue to go down. Yet it's already July and gold hasn't gone down this year. It stayed at around twelve or thirteen hundred dollars. So it's kind of leveled off. Now, what has happened also since my speech in the last three months? Another thing that drives gold prices is basically wars, world events, when people are scared. You know, even though we've changed and we're sophisticated, we all have iPhones, human beings still have the same emotions they had thousands of years ago. Have we really changed that much, especially men? <laughs> <laughs> so what's happened just in the past two months? First of all, we had the Ukraine situation. Russia supplies, I think, what, half of the natural gas to Europe that goes through Ukraine. And Ukraine, they had almost a civil war. In eastern Ukraine, they want to pull apart the Russia, and Russia takes Crimea, and I think just today, Russia shot down one of Ukraine's planes, and this and that. And you know Putin and Russia, they're not gonna leave Ukraine alone. So we have this situation here, yet even worse, what happened a month ago in Iraq? It's like Iraq is now, falling apart, basically. I don't know how much of you guys read the news, but Iraq, I don't get to scare you guys, but Iraq, basically, it's worse than it's ever been. You have the, the ISIS, Islamic uh, terrorist state, where now they created their own state inside of Syria and Iraq. They're probably 50 miles from Baghdad, and these guys are, they're like, make Al-Qaeda look like a walk in the park. So these guys are serious customers, and a lot of people think the government in charge of Baghdad might not even be able to hold Baghdad. Now, why does this matter? The fact is Iraq produces uh, 4 million barrels of oil a year, and what if that oil production um, goes down because of this terrorist situation? So if anything, and look what's happening with Israel and Gaza Strip, you know, you can go on and on. So the point is, it's another reason not to give up on gold. Now, when I gave my speech three months ago, I remember, because I actually gave a few stock tips, most of you probably didn't notice, and I remember, I think at the time, gold was at 1350, and then it went down to 1280, now it's back up to 13. But the point is, gold is really volatile. So a few things you want to know about gold 
if you're considering buying it, is first of all, you're not going to be a trader. I think Dylan's had some experience trading and maybe some others, but the fact is for gold, you have to be a long-term investor because it's volatile. Now, maybe I have some of your attention and you think, well, where do I buy gold? How do I get my hands on some of this stuff? And there's different ways to buy gold. Most people, you don't want to put more than 10% of your savings, but there's two or three different choices. You can go to your local coin shop and buy gold coins or bars, one ounce coins, and you'll pay a small premium, keep them in your uh, bank vault, or leave a hole in your yard or something like that. And if you want to try and get a bigger payoff, you can buy gold stocks. Generally, when the price of gold goes up, gold stocks go up even more because the risk is kind of amplified and they're digging the gold and they, you know, they're, they're mining millions of ounces of gold, so a gold stock is going to go up more than a gold coin, but it also goes down more. In the past few years, I have a lot of my investments in uh, gold stocks and that my investments were devastated. I could barely, barely pay my $160 stream of Toastmaster. <laughs> And the best way to play gold, don't come back at me in six months that, John, I've lost half my money. But if you're a big believer in gold, and you've really been convinced by my speech, and you want to make five or ten times your money in a year, you can buy Nugget, N-U-G-T. It gives you the same effect as gold stocks, but it amplifies it three times. When I gave my speech, it was at 55. In the past few months, it went down to 28, and now it's back to 45. So these are some different options. So I'm going to give you an update again in three to six months. Hopefully I've at least um, gotten some of you to think about some alternative investments today. Thank you.